Hey, this is Mojave from Survive and Thrive. We are looking at the all-season solar cooker today. We got our hands on one from our good friend Jim LaJoy. And uh, this is it. It uh, takes about three minutes to put together. It's uh, not cardboard. It kind of looks like cardboard, but it's a plasticized thing with um, a full foil inner liner. And what that's going to do is focus all of the sun so that we can cook. So what we've got going here is a full chicken with some seasonings on there. Now the product comes with a trivet to rest your um, to rest your thing on. So we're going to set this in here, and then you need two like four quart Pyrex bowls, and this is going to create the heat space. So you have to use a black pan also. So get that put your chicken in here, that there, and now this is going to kind of create the oven effect or the greenhouse effect. And now that's going to cook. Another feature it's got here is kind of is a solar pointer. This little thing here is just a piece of wood, but it comes with it. <clears throat> you point this at the sun, and you just kind of twist it a little bit so you can make sure that you're completely lined up with the sun. Now it is uh, it's early July, and it's about nine o'clock in the morning, so the sun's pretty low, but it's going to get higher. So I'm just going to leave it like this, so the sun will come through here. I'm expecting probably around. Uh, Maybe noon we'll have some chicken. When you're cooking beef like this, you really need to have an electronic probe thermometer, which I have one, and we'll put this in here later. I'm just gonna let this guy cook for now. So we'll see you in a few hours. Okay, so here we are about 10.30. Been in here an hour and a half. I haven't moved the box. Um, but look at our little sun dial there. So we're just about perfect. We're just getting a little shadow. So I'm gonna tilt this back a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we just leave it there. Okay. Probably spin it. See, look at that. Let's get that straight. There we go. We'll come back and check this. Okay, so here we are a couple hours into it. We're going to open this up for the first time. I am wearing gloves. This is very hot. Ah, you know, I can smell it. Look at that. You see the steam coming off that? Oh my gosh, do you smell that? It smells wonderful. So we're gonna put this guy in there about there. Check it out. That's 140 degrees in there. Now I think we need to be about 160. So we've got a little longer to go, but wow, that smells good. Get a good shot of that. Yeah. All right, let's put them back together. And give them some more time. And here we go. We're a little over three hours. Got the gloves. This is hot. Mm, gosh, it smells really good. I wish you guys could see this or smell it. I know you can see it. I'm gonna get my uh, little thermometer here. Plug him in. Go in a couple inches there. Look at that. 164 degrees. You see that, ladies and oh, 170. But you know what is the coolest thing about this? Is being such a slow cooker, you can't really overdo it. Look at all the juice in there. You know, it's, it's not like a regular oven where this thing would just dry out. This thing is just slow cooking, and it's a thing of beauty. Let's uh, maybe pry off a piece here. Get my bare hands here. Oh, you see that juice coming out? Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's hot. <laughs> that is really hot. Okay, I was gonna take a bite, but it's too hot. So uh, we'll we'll uh, take this over the table and we'll break some out. Look at this falling apart. This is only awesome. It's still hot, but it is so juicy. It's crazy. Now. <clears throat> The cool thing about the all-season solar cooker, again, is that uh, it can cook from about 8 or 9 a.m. in the morning till, you know, 5 or 6 o'clock at night, well, in summer hours. Basically, you can cook whenever the summer's up, whenever the sun is up. The design lets you change the box so that it can take the low rays of the sun coming in like this. Most box cookers are really only good from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and uh, not everybody's ready to eat 
lunch at 2 p.m. or eat dinner at 2 p.m. But here, we're having lunch at 12. That's pretty cool. A whole chicken. Uh, this is not the first thing I cooked. Um, in the instructions, it recommends you start off with rice. And that's, I did that also. Uh, actually, I started late in the afternoon uh, in, this is July. Started around 4 o'clock, and by 5.15, I had a cup of nice, beautiful, steaming rice. So, uh, you know, obviously solar cooking takes a little bit longer, but it doesn't overcook things. It was just, it was great. You might want to practice your own things, um, you know, maybe cutting meat into smaller pieces. Uh, we just, I wanted to show how well this thing works by using a whole chicken, but that takes a little bit longer. If you cut the meat into smaller pieces, it provides more surface area, and then you can cook faster. But uh, it would be good to know how to work your solar cooker before you really need it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to practice some more things with this. Uh, I know the Jim LaJoy, the guy that uh, provided us this, he was cooking pork roasts and uh, some other really good stuff. So go on his website, All Season Solar Cooker. You can also go on Amazon. That's where you can buy it. There's also websites out there where they have uh, a lot of recipes for solar cooking. So, you know, there's just so much you can do with this. It's amazing. And the fact that you don't have to buy any wood or any gas or anything, uh, it's amazing. I'm sold. So here we are. We got some potatoes cooking, but it's about 4:30 in the afternoon. So the sun is, you know, coming in low like this, and uh, I'll show you how we're going to take care of that. Take everything out. Set this here. Just turn this around and lay it like that. And now look at that. Look at the sun angle coming in here. This is killer. Put my little sun uh, sun finder. Put my trivet back in here. Come around here. Put the trivet back in there. Put this back on. Look at that. And that's very hot. Again, close. Totally necessary. Aim this down. Boom. We're also sitting here in about a I don't know, 15, 20 mile an hour wind, and that stuff's cooking well. Again, that's the uh, the Pyrex dishes are creating an oven effect, so we're gonna check these out in about a half an hour. Okay, here we are with our potatoes, and uh, I just know these things are gonna be awesome. Oh, you see that? Ooh, that's hot. I can't even hold the lid. Oh, these are so soft and tender, it's just crazy. If you're interested, these are uh, Yukon Gold potatoes with Montreal and some uh, onions and garlic and uh, some Evu, extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil. Ah, I can't quite taste it. It's too hot to eat, but these are done. They're beautiful. And again, look at this. It's, uh, it's 5.30, 5.40. Most solar ovens are done by 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. This thing's still cooking at six. Probably got another hour to go. You can still cook some stuff. So this thing is fantastic.